Hey guys, KJ4CTS here with my first video for the website and today we're going to be talking about PSK31 on the FT950. Uh, I just acquired the FT950 a few days ago and got it all hooked up with my homebrew interface thanks to KI4HJV. I've got it out of the box just to give you guys an idea of what it is. Two transistors, a couple of diodes, a variable resistor there. Uh, let the audio come in from the PC and out from the rig and what that gives us here is this output here on the waterfall The software I'm running is Digital Master 780. It comes with HRD That's ham radio deluxe, which is available. Just do a quick Google search for it um, <clears throat> Pretty easy to get set up once you've got it all plugged in with the homebrew interface There are a couple of little ca caveats that you need to go through to get it up and running um, the, there's a few menu settings that aren't set within the AZU rig that uh, prevent you from getting the full waterfall, but uh, I'll tell you what those guys are here. I uh, just finished up a conversation with a French station, which is actually Maritime Mobile in the Caribbean Sea. He's actually sailed around the world prior to this, and now he's there in the Caribbean, and I believe he said he was starting his next trip. Uh, give you an idea here. We'll go ahead and click on this guy here and I've clicked on the waterfall stream there and let's see if we can get up here close enough where you can actually see it coming out. Now I've got the audio turned all the way down on the radio but it doesn't matter when you're in the USB packet mode um, you don't need the actual AF or RF turned up to get data out. It's all done through the through the rear data jack which um, there's a few jacks back there, but this one's specifically labeled um, data, I believe. And uh, that's what the plug from this wire here goes to. That uh, runs to the back there. And that gives you the input and output. The actual keying of the radio is done through a serial cable uh, into the CAT interface in the back, and Ham Radio Deluxe supports that. The menu settings, oops, sorry for the shake there. Uh, the menu settings that I wanted to refer to are two of them within the Azu menu here. Let me get in here. I'm going to pull this up. We'll get over. Uh, they are, I believe, 54 and 55 are the numbers. Uh, from the factory, uh, let's see, 50, oh, I'm sorry, 50, yes, for 54 and 55. From the factory, uh, the display is set to. Um, let's see, the display on it is set to 1000, and get there to 1000, and the shift is actually set to, actually I've got that backwards, the shift is set to 1000, and the display is actually set to zero from the factory. Now this is what the problem is with that if you look at the waterfall here we've got data coming through all the way across we'll pan across and then here's where we run into our problem look at that a big gap without any data and to resolve that those two settings 54 and 55 the packet display and I'll get back here real quick for you the packet display and the packet shift both need to be 1500 and what that's going to do is that's going to give you the full waterfall so that you can see all the data. And I'll show you here after I get that changed. So here we go. We're going from left all the way across here to right. And, of course, these gaps right here are standard. Uh, nothing nothing really can be changed to to get those in and I don't have the width on. Um, so that's the quick fix to get that running. Um, I am running via USB packet, which means the king is done through the cat. So in order to, you, you have to do that. If you're running it through the mic jack and just using USB, you don't actually have to do that. Here's what USB looks like. All right, I've just switched the radio to USB. And if I can get uh, back up, I launched a browser here in Digital Master, my apologies. Launched quite a few of them. Um, if you look, this is upper sideband, and it is also the full waterfall without any issue. 
but the problem is is you can't send data through the data jack when you're in upper sideband. It has to be in upper sideband packet to send data through the data jack and when you key with the cat you do have to make those menu changes. So there you go, there you have it. That's the quick fix for the FT950 and getting the waterfall up and running. Um, another neat trick I want to show you guys. Uh, let's say we want to talk to this signal here, who is K2CAF, and he is calling PD0JB. PD0JB is in the Netherlands, and K2CAF is a US call sign who is in New York. So there we go, we have that. Um, I've got his section of the band, actually it's probably gone to the Netherlands station. Let's go right over here then real quick. This will be a little bit, this is a, a US station calling DX, uh, Whiskey Charlie 3 X-Ray. And uh, he is calling DX. Uh, so what I wanna do here is we have a button here, let's see. What that does is that actually brings the frequency to dead center of the band. It uh, changes the VFO. Let me get out of the menu here real quick. If you notice, we're not on 14.070 any longer. We're now dead on there. Um, and then the filtering on the FT950 is very impressive. Uh, you can see all of the traffic around the uh, TDC there where the station is. Let me get them focused on. And uh, you could involve QRM there, which uh, can hurt your signal quality. By enabling the narrow filter here on the FT950, and let's see what I've got it set to. We'll bring it down to 100 hertz. Now take a look there. All we see of the waterfall is just his signal. So you get 100% his signal and any adjacent stations which may be interfering are now gone. So that's another neat feature. Uh, with this uh, setup here in the last 24 hours, I've worked quite a few stations, uh, DX, pull up the log here real quick. Uh, France, Cuba, Romania, Dominican Republic, Croatia, uh, United States, Mexico, Cuba again, Sardinia. Spain, Argentina, and the U.S., and that's all within a period of less than 24 hours, and that wasn't constant operating. So digital really enables quite a bit for you, and uh, Digital Master 780 is a great program. So there's a quick rundown on the FT950 and the Digital Master 780 and HRD suite. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please leave comments if you uh, feel like it. Thanks again.